Hello Pisces, how are you guys? Welcome to your reading. For today, we got for you the Three of Fire, Queen of Fire, Forgiving and Learning, Religious Factors, Spiritual Connection, Slow Down, Allowing Things to Unfold. So I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign here with the Queen of Fire and or um, an heiress sign here with the Queen of Fire. So your person is definitely taking action towards um, the opportunities or the uh, offers that um, possibilities of having you in their life. Um, they can definitely sense a spiritual connection um, here uh, between you two. But there's an energy here of um, having to release the, the, and heal from the past and to um, see, lo see love in the relationship. Uh, could be due to spiritual um, path or religious upbringing. And there's a need to slow down because the Queen of Fire has been, all she can be all over the place because she feels really confident and stretching her wings and um, doing all sort of things. Very confident, intelligent, and she's just a go-getter here with the... So let's see what is the current energy. We have the Page of Wands. That is still um, uh, a fire sign. A younger fire sign could be an earth sign as well. So the highest that can be attained here is the death card. What's underneath is the chariot. In the past, we have the three of wands. And the probable outcome is the high priestess. So the page of wands talks about the eight of wands here. So this person could be waiting for your message, waiting for an action or a gesture coming from you. Um, there could be some kind of work-related or money uh, matters that will come to fruition very soon or has already happened for you or is happening. So we get the three of wands here showing up twice, by the way. Um, and it's going to be a good message. Page of Wands is a positive message, um, Pisces. So we have the highest that can be attained here is the Death card with the World card. So the Death card is uh, getting rid of the old that's no longer serving your purpose and welcoming in you. And I feel like you are doing that with the World card because um, you could have Earth sign in your chart as well. This is Scorpio. Could be, because this is Aquarius or Capricorn, I believe. So this is like going through a series of um, trials, obstacles, and you're able to, um, you know, vic you're victorious in all of those. I'm sorry about that, Pisces. So... So sorry, I can't handle the noise. Okay, so we have the Chariot and the King of Swords. So this is Gemini or Air sign or, uh, and Cancer energy here. So um, we're getting energies here when it comes to communication. Someone wants to come to you. Someone wants to send you a message um, with the King of Swords. Or it could be that... Because this is the both of these are divinely guided, um, showing connection to the divine. So there's an edge here of being, uh, you know, this doing what you can in this situation and trusting that the universe will back you up with this, and they will. And um, I mean, it's showing up here, so. Cancer energy is very loving, um, like they know what unconditional love is, uh, deeply emotional. And here comes the King of Swords being this rigid, strict, um, straightforward energy. 
So there, that, there could be that. Um, however that yet resonates for you. It could be your person or your energy. And then we have the three of... Um, three of wands and the six of swords here. So someone is waiting for someone to come in the past. And I, I think the message or whatever that movement is from one place to another could be in your mind, could be um, when it comes to your spiritual path. It's coming. I mean, it, it, it was there in the past. I mean, it happens. And then there's this new beginning here with the fire sign. And let's see the high priestess. Um, could could be a third party situation that you're not aware of or no one is talking about. It could be some kind of a balance within yourself, within your inner self, lower and higher self. And um, you're actually doing great, but you're not telling people about it, um, Pisces. You're just, you know, enjoying that moment and making sure things are balanced and you're not really um, doesn't really care or you feel that it's not needed to let other people know about how great things are all right thank you for that pisces so at the bottom of the deck here we have the nine of cups so there's an energy of being happy people can see that you're happy you can feel it yourself as well this could also be the wish fulfillment card and thank you very much, Pisces. That's what I have for you. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.